How's it going, everybody? I am Donut, and we are reacting to Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season 1, Episode 17. Turn, turn, turn. Uh, you know, I legitimately... Well, hold on. I'm gonna, okay, first, really quickly. I don't know if that is a reference to the song, Turn, 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 but I have no idea what the... If it, if it is literal, I have no idea. But um, it would tie into what's going on, everything like that. Everybody has a time. There's a time for everything. Uh, being able to rethink things, change your mind, blah, blah, blah. It's a whole Bible thingy. Not religious, but I, I know a little bit about it, but I don't know enough about it to really feel like I could talk about it. Um, but... It would be, I, I think that might be what the reference literally is, the turn turn the bird song. Um, but um, could just be a literal thing. Anyway, if I, I have watched Captain America the Winter Soldier uh, before this obviously just came out on the channel. You should, you should have saw it. But uh, if you want to see my discussion for specifically, the like I did a discussion on the movie itself, but then also in it towards the very end, I did stuff that was relevant to Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., which is actually quite a hell of a lot that I'm gonna be insanely relevant to Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. I have no idea what the fuck this episode could be, what the show is going to be moving forward. I have no idea. Uh, TLDR, I think it's basically, uh, this is going to be taking, this episode is gonna be taking place during the movie, uh, like at the same time. Um, but yeah, if you want to see my full full thing about that, go check it out. There is a timestamp in the, the description of that video of where I'm just talking about S.H.I.E.L.D. if that is all you're interested in. So yeah, that out of the way, let's jump into Turn, Turn, Turn. And uh, we do have Guardians of the Galaxy to watch at some point uh, in a few episodes from now. I have the exact here. I'll just say it so everybody knows and they don't have to ask me. Uh, we're watching Guardians of the Galaxy. Oh, after season one. Very end of season one. Okay. Uh, but yes, that's when the next movie is, so everybody doesn't have to tell me or ask me. Anyway, let's get in with it. Turn, turn, turn. Uh, if you want to get full length, $8 a month. If you want to get early access, to $4 a month. That's it. Let's get into the reaction. Go! Okay, okay, okay. Everything is flipping on its fucking head. I thought, how the hell, like, what is episode 17 gonna be? What is episode 18 gonna be? I can't wait. I wanna get to this discussion as quick as possible so I can go watch 18. But, uh, I, I wanna say, starting off with Fear the Reaper, fucking perfect. Especially it fits Garrett's character so well. Like, even before the, like, ending of the episode, it still fit his character so well. I, I, great, great song choice. Uh, we had the whole air battle with the planes and the missiles and everything, which was really cool. I was not expecting to get something like that out of S.H.I.E.L.D., but I hope we get more like that, because it's not going to be something we're going to get with the movies very often. Uh, it, you know, that would be like, you know, single characters like the Falcon flying around or something. But, uh, it wouldn't be, you know, planes and planes, I assume. Uh, but yeah, it was cool to see. Not like, you know, the greatest special effects or anything, but still, uh, they're getting... I don't even want to say they're getting better and better, because S.H.I.E.L.D. just sometimes has good effects, sometimes doesn't. It's just like, you know, it weans and, and wangs. Weans and wangs. You know what I'm trying to... What is the... What is that phrase? Uh, something in wax... I can't even remember now. Uh, but... Uh, what else we have here? Starting off the beginning with the whole team just screaming at each other, nobody trusting anybody, everybody furious with each other over various different things, mainly by the fact that nobody's been saying anything to each other, there's so much secrets, which I love. Again, Lost is my favorite show of all time, and so many things that I love about Lost are, you know, uh, similar in, in S.H.I.E.L.D. Seemingly one of the biggest things being how insanely drastically the show is changing over time, and we're still in season one. Um, but yeah, I, yeah, I, I absolutely love the whole, like, uh, everybody feeling like a family, but at the same time, you know, everybody has these secrets and nobody's sharing them with each other. And there's all this like angst built up between the characters because they're so, they feel so close yet so separated at the same time. Um, we have the unbelievable twist that Trip wasn't the bad one and that it was Garrett. Could not believe that. I've been so against Trip this entire time. Uh, Agent Weaver told Simmons that you know where you'll find me. So we might be going there not... Mm, maybe next. So we don't have an exact... I assumed we were going to go into the tree house or uh, the one in Africa. Eastern Africa, I think they said. Um, but we could be going to uh, the shield... Uh, uh, University, whatever the hell it was called. Was it just called Shield University? Um, 
and, and seeing Agent Weaver there. Uh, that might be where we go next. Um, we have the reveal that, uh, what May's been doing this whole time, which is, like, boy, I, it, it's not as bad as I thought, but in a different way, it is also, like, worse, right? Because, in some ways, it's better because she's not fully, you know, working with the clairvoyant or with Hydra or in some other, uh, background. She really was just working for Fury, keeping an eye on Coulson and everything like that. But it goes even farther than that, in which Fury's just existence of being alive now is just an experiment. Like, it is definitely because Fury really liked Coulson and all that, and that's why he picked Coulson to do it with. But this is entirely just an experiment to see if this is going to work. Like... They have May watching to make sure nothing goes wrong, and if she can take him down if they do. Also, that's why Ward is there, to be able to stop him if anything happens. We have Fitz and Simmons to be working on his body, and, you know, for both the biological and the mechanical standpoint, I guess. Um, uh, and Sky is just like, you know, uh, wasn't meant to be here, uh, which is really what's screwed everything up. If it wasn't for Sky, he probably would have never found out. He probably wouldn't have really looked into it very much, and he'd probably be dead now because Hand would have killed him thinking that he was the... Uh, uh, working with Hydra. Uh, but yeah, so this entire time, it's not even like, it's not that May is working for somebody else. It's not that it's as simple as she's just keeping an eye on her for symptoms. She has fully been aware that this has all just been a sort of fucking experiment to, to see if they could do this with other people, to see if this is a possibility, to see if it goes wrong. Instead of the fact that it's already gone so wrong, it just from the very beginning of the nature of doing it. Just by doing it, it should have been a no, let's not do it anymore. But it's just, let's see if anything goes even wronger than what we've already done. Uh, but yeah, so I completely understand why he's like, yeah, you're, you can stay on the ship, you're an ally, you are helping us. Like, we know now that you're not against us, but you're certainly not a friend. A friend would not have let that happen. Uh, you know, she wants to try and act like she does care about him and all that, and she does, but the point still stands that the way you care about him is pretty twisted if this is how you think it should be done. Uh, she is way, she was way too, uh, by the book. Absolutely. 100%. Whereas everybody else in the crew really wasn't, and were way more willing to skirt the rules and everything which is what a true friend would be doing for Coulson and telling him she wouldn't care if she truly cared about him that much. Uh, so they, they've turned the 084 into a weapon already, it seems. Uh, one that looks so closely like the old Hydra weapons. Uh, but that, that's kind of cool, though. I guess they keep it a similar style to them. But yeah, so the 084 has already been made into a weapon. I don't know if it's uh, multiple weapons or just a weapon. Because uh, it didn't look like the 084. It just, I think they said, like, you know, the blueprints of it, like the schematics of it, of how it works, they made it into a weapon. But we only saw one person holding one, so I don't know if it's just the one or multiple or whatever. We also have the portals that Dr. Selvig created. I assume that's what it is. I tried to, like, look at the little image that was on the screen, and then I went back and checked in Thor 2, and it doesn't really look like it, but it looks close enough, and I can't think of what other thing they would be talking about with portals. Um, but that one was, I thought, supposed to just be only able to do that because it was the Nine Realms converging. Um, but apparently not. Apparently they could just do it whenever. I don't know. Uh, and apparently it's why the machine's fine. It broke, but it's also fine. I don't know how that works. But, uh... They did stuff like that. That episode is so weird. When I I still think about it from time to time. The weather episode. Let me move this camera. But yeah, the the episode with Donnie and stuff. It just kind of like ends. That that was might be one of my. I mean, it's not one of my least favorite episodes, but it's definitely my least favorite ending of any of the episodes because they don't solve anything. It just sort of ends, and then I assumed it was either still going on or something but no i mean they just seem to like not ever explain how they fixed that <laughs> like i don't know really weird uh but so i guess it's fine i guess the weather shit was handled and is all good and they have the weather machine i guess that's just all being told in retrospect now uh 
Yeah, Fitz and Simmons are absolutely really, really shining. I expect them at the beginning of the series to be as sort of comedic relief characters. Uh, and it's been pretty obvious that they ha they're they not going to be uh, just throughout the run of the show from, you know, very early on till now. But they are even shining uh, more than, like, Ward, who seemed like he was going to be the main character at the very beginning, either Ward or Sky. And now I would say... I don't know who the main character is. Maybe Coulson is the main character, perhaps. Uh, I would definitely say Sky is not the main character anymore. But, uh, yeah, I guess I would say Coulson is the main character of the show now. Uh, but it it switch around so much. But, you know, even like a show like Lost had, you know, Jack was the main character. Of course, Jack was the main character. It's not surprising. Even if he doesn't have episodes where he has focus, he's still the main character. So, but it's, it's so less obvious for the show. Because we start out with Ward, we give Ward a hell of a lot of focus at the beginning, uh, then we give Sky a hell of a lot of focus, then we give Coulson a hell of a lot of focus, but not in a, like, main character -y way, just in a focus -y way. It's tough to say who the hell the main character is, but I'm gonna go with Coulson. Anyway, anyway. Yeah, Fitz's gems are absolutely shining. Fitz, it was ep this episode at the end there with, uh, Garrett, you know, trying to get him to come over to Hydra. Mmm. Mmm. Demolto acting. Uh, yeah, we got, so, the next few episodes, and who, however knows how long, is gonna be a big power grab. Uh, it's gonna, it's gonna be just like Operation Paperclip, but, uh, the other way around, in which I assume, uh, Hydra is gonna be going around trying to cross off people and, uh, recruit people. Like, you know, either come with us or we kill you. Uh, so we're gonna get a real reverse Paperclip on our, uh, hands here, which is gonna be fascinating. Also, just in terms of not even people, but, like, it's not even, like, you know, the, the collapse of the, the Nazis and then trying to grab them all. It is now, like, the collapse of the Nazis and trying to take their, their uh, like, their places. Like, not even the people, but, like, we're, like, we gotta go to this place to get this place. And, like, we're, we're grabbing at the, the places and the intelligence within them. Well, much less than the people. Like, even Hydra themselves, I assume they're going after the places more than they are the people. Because they really have most of the people they wanted, the higher-up people. Uh, but yeah, really interesting reversal of, uh, of everything there. Especially just after we got Zola and, like, the, you know, uh, the idea that we did that with Hydra. Like, not even just, like, the normal paperclip shit, but, like, also, of course, Hydra, which would make sense. Uh, and now, doing the exact opposites. <laughs> Uh, so at the very, very end there, where, uh, Ward said he wanted to go turn the key and Garrett, he walks down the hallway with them, and Coulson lingers looking at him suspiciously. I do wonder if he is suspecting him of something. Um, I mean, I called him crazy for suspecting Ward way back there, but no, I mean, he was right! He was right! Uh, I, I don't, I, I don't even know what to say about fucking award and the end there with Garrett and all that. It was so left field and rewatching this episode, I still don't get it. Like, with the hand thing, it was something where I was like, okay, thinking back, like, yes, all this sort of connects. With Garrett, it does. Sure. But, like, with Ward, he has to be an insanely good actor. Um, and, I mean, even with Garrett, there was not as much, like, uh, it's a nice twist, but there is way more, like, uh, evidence for it being Hand than Garrett. Like, just in terms of, like, but I mean, you can say the same thing about Coulson. There's way more evidence that it was Coulson than Garrett. I'm not saying, like, you know, that it's not Garrett, but I'm saying in terms of, like, a satisfying payoff type thing, uh, Garrett being him was less satisfying than if it was, like, Hand actually, because there was so much more things to be able to guess it around that. Uh, but, uh... Yeah, Ward specifically, he's going to have to be, and it's, like, I'm so fascinated by why he's doing this, why he's working with, uh, Garrett. Garrett smiles all the time. Garrett enjoys being a real son of a bitch, but Ward was not. He seems very, uh, I don't want to say blackmailed, but, like, soft blackmailed into this. Like, he believes he has to do this because blah, 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 blah. Um, maybe it's just because of his past and everything with his brother that something even way worse than we think happened. And, uh, he's sort of just been like, well, I guess I'm the bad guy. I'm going to be the bad guy. I don't know. But, uh, with him working by himself all the time, it would, uh, you know, explain why he, how he was able to sort of, like, work, uh, 
uh, with them and for them and stuff. I don't know. Also, did we see Agent Shaw before? I think I recognize Agent Shaw, but I don't know. If I just recognize his actor, or if I recognized him from being in the show, or maybe a movie or something. Maybe he was in the first Avengers. I don't know. Um, either way, uh, that's it. I really want to see the next episode, so I'll see you guys for that. What is the next episode? Actually, hold on. What is the next episode's title? Um, Providence. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Providence. Uh, we'll talk about that as soon as we start the next video. I'll see you guys for that. Hail Hydra!